This is my new goal. I've achieved some strength gains. I've achieved some improvement in muscle mass. So now my goal is going to be to trim the fat and reduce my body fat from where it is now to about 10 to 12 percent. So in the past, I've gone from healthy to obese and back to healthy again. I've done this a number of times. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I've always been athletic. I've been uh, in the military, so I'm used to exertion, discipline, training hard, going all out. It's not easy, but if you make it more of a lifestyle rather than just a temporary goal, it becomes something that's much more manageable. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. But the goal for me really is just to reduce my body fat from where it is now to a more reasonable 10 to 12 percent for me. That's where I'm comfortable. I think I could probably achieve that in the five to six weeks, which is what I'm aiming for with this series. So in 2018, I went from a definite 269 down to 211 pounds from about 30 percent body fat to seven and a half percent body fat. It was kind of a rude awakening and I said I have to do something about this. So I started out with my nutrition. I cut out all the junk that I had in my life. Now I'm back into a healthier lifestyle and I've been in that lifestyle ever since. I'll show you some pictures. I'll show you some graphs from the scale that they had at the gym and it shows my progress and my fat loss, my weight loss. It was pretty impressive for me. I got to a point where I was very happy. So I know I can do this again. I'm not sure what my body fat is right now because as we all know, there isn't really a reliable way to do body fat measurements from home. I did get myself a new scale, which I'll show you guys. It's a Withings. I knew going into it that it's a smart scale that isn't very smart only because it's not very accurate when it comes to measuring body fat. Nonetheless, I got this scale because I just wanted a tool to be consistent with verifying the fat loss along the way. I'm giving myself five to six weeks to get to my ideal percent of body fat, which is going to be 10 to 12 percent. Like I said, I went down to 11 percent a couple years ago. If I decrease to 210 or 215, it's okay with me. So I'm going to go over some of my strategies. As I said, I've done this before in the past. That's going to be nutrition. That's going to be continuing with the weight training here, and it's going to be increasing the cardio for sure. So one of the things I want to do to help increase the cardio is getting on the echo bike a little bit more, but also hitting a heavy bag. It's one of my favorite things to do. One of the things I did in my commercial gym, and I like to go for three, three minute rounds, which is roughly 10 minutes of training. It's tough. It's brutal. It definitely gets the heart rate up. And that was ideal for me. I would get on the treadmill. Sometimes I would get on a bike or a rower. Now all I have is the echo bike. And now with the weather getting better here in the Northeast, I intend to get out and do some walks after dinner and that kind of thing. But I really want to get a heavy bag. If I do, that's going to be one of the strategies I use for increasing the cardio. I'm going to have pictures. I'm going to have video. I'm going to have weigh-ins on the scale, demonstrate the loss with graphs from the smart scale, which plugs into the phone and really get to that target and hopefully inspire some of you guys that might have a similar goal. Even if you don't have a rack or a gym at home, whatever the case is, you can still achieve some of this with hard work cardio, even if it's calisthenics, walking, and definitely minding your nutritional habits. That's the discipline part that comes into play for a lot of us. I'm pretty optimistic because as I said, I've done this in the past a few times before, so I know what needs to be done. This is the strongest muscle we have, right? So, and that's where I'm at right now. And I'm hoping you guys will be there with me. I'm hoping you guys will hold me accountable with this series. I want to take you guys along for the ride. So let's see what happens. So stay tuned for more. I appreciate your time and joining me on this video and take care.